Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, and here we are with, with Backdoor, Door 2, The Job. This this is continuing off into the next game on the, continuing on one of them, uh, it's just going to be a pseudo walkthrough, playthrough, as I said before. And let's not go into all that too much. Let's figure out exactly what's, what the, the man on the phone actually wants us to do, since he'd like, spawn us in here. Really appreciating you carrying the phone with you. You see, you can't be bothered with leaving phones all over the place. So occasionally, I gotta get someone else to move around for me. Good thing I got you. Ah, uh, but enough of that. Let's get down to business. Since you're taking up my offer, you're gonna have to learn about traversing around here. I'll tell you right now, this place ain't exactly that well assembled. Not much you can do about it. Even though it's a connection between worlds, you'll find that some worlds aren't exactly, well, lined up with each other. Worlds just end up facing different directions, and you better believe that causes trouble for that point in between. You'll see weird behavior. What may seem like a dead end is actually still a direct path to some place. You'll just need to make some adjustments if you want to progress any further. Very first adjustment then. So we still have like basically all the items we have from the last game. So we have the pencil, box cutter, coin, and a towel. A trusty towel. You can wrap yourself in a towel and wear it like a cape, but you're not really sure it would do any good. Unless they did it just to have some cool flavor text. Not except the right one. You can't use the box cover here. Oh yeah, this one. You flip the coin. The coin lands on heads. It's actually 50-50. <laughs> I like it too much. There's a box here, so we just open this up. And there's a gear. So this should obviously go into the crank mechanism. It's missing a gear. Yeah. You do the gear into the crank mechanism. Turn the crank? Yes. Hang on to your hat! I <laughs> guess you weren't expecting that, huh? It's like I said before, this place is not well, well, not well put together. You start to make shenanigans are perfectly natural around these parts. We gotta learn how to think of your feet and adapt to whatever's thrown at ya. Let's see if you got what it takes. And don't you think it can start this fall by doing nothing like last time? He almost basically died last time, so this would be great. I can guarantee you won't be getting up again if you hit the floor at this speed. So there you go then. You know what to do. Go save yourself. Well, the stuff we have on hand, but the only thing we have is the house. Look to the phone and it's the fall. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't even think about that too hard. I wonder what the first job he wants us to do is anyway. Like, what's the whole thing you, like, you know, got us anyway? Traversing from the alleyway into the grand cityscape. And there's another phone here. You still don't have enough phones around here. <laughs> hey there, good to see you made on one piece. Except for me. I'm actually kind of relieved. I did not want to be responsible for the mess you would have left if you had not survived. Oh boy. Anyways, we're past that point already. Time for some background info. Ooh, goody goody, exposition. So, some back up, some time back, a bunch of robots decided that us humans were rubbish. And they decided to run up all over the Earth's surface and start a new life. End result is what you see here. Welcome to the underground city, kid. And that's it. If you're cutting more of a long, well-told story, I suggest reading a book. Dang it. So this is actually like... So the newspaper in the first game about um, uh, a human bar, like, accepting human money. Like, human like human customers. That, uh, yeah, unfortunately. So I'm wondering what those other newspapers are. Well, there's a whole town of meteorites, a pianist who, like, you know, comes back at a concert hall every year. Stuff like that. I've got better things to do. For now, let's, let's talk about the job I got for you. That's right, a job. Oh boy, am I gonna get paid for this? My time is valuable, so before we go any further, you're gonna have to, have to prove you're worth it. Otherwise, I'll just leave you stuck here on the ground. Uh, okay, so this is not exactly the real job, just a test of it. Hmm. I want to want you to find someone first. He'll lead you to where I want you to go next. Here, I'll send over a picture of the guy. Send over. It's a fact. 
<laughs> you got a photo. Okay, then you should have everything you need. Just a photo. Nice. I was just looking around a bit if I were you. Maybe try to show folks that photo? Uh, don't worry too much about being human in these parts either. Most locals here don't even know or remember anymore what a human looks like. Besides, what's the worst that can happen? Getting killed off? Burned the stake? Skewered? Crushed? In like a press or something like that? Uh, good luck! Oh, thanks. Hello, my robot companion. I just like to live a human free environment. <laughs> it's a pleasant thought, I think. Assuming there really aren't any humans around. Don't worry, there aren't. Y you tell me if there was actually humans here, right? Right? Yes. So what's the f I'm gonna look at the photo again. You take a better look at it, okay. No oh, photo. You take a look at the photo. What was that? Oh, I see it. Look at that again. So they find that guy in the scarf. Hmm. Have you seen this man? He's gone missing. We need to find him. You show the photo. Look for someone, are you? I'm sorry, I don't know anyone about the person's photo. Hmm. Bar. Plenty of people look around in here. Oh, I think I recognize that Fez. Aren't you in this photo? Show your photo. Oh, this photo? Obviously you must be a fan. A fan of my awesome fashion sense. Sure I am, buddy. Sure I am. I can totally tell from this picture you have of me. Unfortunately, I don't do autographs, so sorry about that. Pretty sure I didn't have a pen on hand either. Jesus. There's a note on the table. Does anyone even remember what humans look like anymore? Nope, and I hope it stays that way. Sometimes I wonder what's like in the surface. It's sort of boring being underground all the time. Like here on the surface it gets dark at night and tiny lights appear in the sky. I would like to see that someday. Ah, so just infinitely light down here. Hello, sir. You look really weird. Say, so, is there any chance I can get a glass of water here? I'm dying of thirst. Sir, surely you must be joking. Everyone knows that water's fatal. <laughs> of course I know that. I was just checking if you knew that. Beep, boof, check out my crazy robot dance moves. Uh, yes. Uh, may I offer you instead of a can of our finest oil? Uh, sure, I'll definitely take a can of this stuff. Hey, but you want this oil stuff, not the right thing. <laughs> yeah, a can of oil. This might be useful to have. Well, we could bribe someone with a drink then. There have been some interesting happenings in town lately, sir. Mostly it's due to the Corkscrew Gang. Corkscrew. They're re they've really been ramping up their activities. They used to be just a bunch of hooligans, but now they're basically taking control of the town. Anyone who dares to fight them ends up getting the treatment. The treatment. I wonder what hap what changed with them. How does that to do with their new boss? Hmm. Oh yeah, we didn't show the photos. Forgot about that. You show your photo. Why, oh, that's an impressive scarf that he's wearing. Uh, this is not about fashion sense, it's about finding a person. Do you know where I can find one like that? Uh, the scarf store. This is a photo of Ayer, correct? Oh, that's his name, Ayer. Nice lad. It's a shame that the corkscrew game have it out for him. Oh, goody goody gun drops. Or is that their boss has taken an interest in his girlfriend? Yeah, that would spark a few things. I've heard that Ayer is often from the parks there. We found, have you looked there? I give up. There's no way to catch that mouse in the back room. The little guy's just too fast. Hold on, let me try. It's a computer mouse. <laughs> you make a grab for the mouse, but it slips through your fingers. Yeah, it's like this. <laughs> it's adorable. Hey, if you see a mouse in the back room, be sure to catch it. Less than we need is word getting out about our mouse problem. It's just getting some sort of container for catching one. Mice can be tricky to catch. Well, how do we have a mouse problem anyways? It's not like there's anything for them to eat here. Also, who the heck builds robotic mice? Could keep your mouse, so... Some of us like mice a lot. 
Okay, let's pull in town a bit more. Oh yeah, shot, we have a coin. Ugh, a human, is it? Oh gosh, that one already knows. Well, hello, sir. Oh no, I am not putting up with your lot. The rest of the city may be more accepting of you folk now these days, but there's no fooling me. Only I only sell my products to honest to goodness robots. That's racist. And don't you dare tell me otherwise. I can see with these old eyes that you're definitely human. Dang it. Well, how do I get metallic skin if I want to buy something here then? Go take your princess somewhere else. But my money's just as good as normal robotic money. Can we just buy something still? What we have here is a fine metal spring, guaranteed to, ha to give a nice bounce for ages. It'll cost you one credit. Of course, I'm not selling a human any of my goods, you might as well just leave. Dang. I'm assuming we can't buy anything else. Here's a good and sturdy bucket, good for carrying and containing things. I think we need to catch the mouse then. It'll cost you one credit. Of course, I'm not selling a human any of my goods, you might as well just leave. Dang it, you really hate us. Handy wrench, good for messing with nuts and bolts. It'll cost you five credits. Oh, Jesus. This here's some boots. Spring, bucket, spanner, then boots. <laughs> this here's some boots. Trust me when I say there's nothing like wearing a good pair of them. Five credits. Oh, boy. If I'm assuming like only one coin is like one credit, so... We could get a spring in the bucket, but... We're not gonna be paying for any of that set anytime soon with robotic races in here. I like relaxing the park. It's fine. It has me get up my mind on stressful things, like the economy. The economy right now is also in some deep shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, you hear rumors of a human in the city. Most of the time, though, they're just stories, nothing more. There hasn't been proof of a human being down here for over a decade. How would you prove someone's a human anymore, if you don't know? I don't give the problem is, though. I can't imagine humans being all that bad, right? Oh, don't worry, sir. They are absolutely terrible. <laughs> the statue is dedicated to the founder of the city. He convinced his fellow robots to leave home to forge a new life underground. Oh, nice. He was also great at parties. Life of the parties. The statue was built in honor of a talented fashion designer. He discovered the secret to creating clothes using materials indigenous to the underground. You're having a little difficulty believing the story behind the statue. Oh, shush you. I just realized there's a chicken statue there. <laughs> the statue is dedicated to one of the city's most famous engineers. Her numerous designs contributed much to the, qualities, the city's quality of life, including generating power. She met her end after an unfortunate encounter with water. I guess, like... So the water, like, just destroys it, like... Like, almost how, like, a phone, like, like when you drop it in, like, in, like, a pot of water and, like, in the toilet, just dies immediately. Oh, boy. I actually dropped, like, in, uh, my 3DS XL and, like, <laughs> the toilet, like, oh, boy, I thought it was dead, but several, several years later, I just turned on again for, like, no prior warning. It was just, like, I'm glad you're alive, but I'm glad you're alive, but how are you back alive? <laughs> that kind of thing. Obviously, the best things come in a statue of a chicken. Why is there a statue of a chicken here? Totally not out of place. Shush you, it's, this is required statue making here. We need more statues of chickens. Oh, that's this guy. You can't do this, G give her back. Look, Mac, all I'm saying is that you shouldn't worry about your little, your girl from now on. I'm not saying that anything's happened to her, but if you go looking for her well, something might happen to you. Oh boy, oh boy. But that's not right! You can't just go up and kidnap people! Especially that someone as wonderful as her! So I guess his girlfriend is gone now? And just saying, you don't want to be messing with the corkscrew gang is all. Yeah, we're dangerous guys, haven't you heard? Beep. <laughs> Best character. Just some friendly device to get one warning. Come on boys, let's get out of here. Okay, bye, see ya. Uh, we need to talk to you, Ayer. Hey, uh, come back! Okay, there up he goes. 
We'll check out the statue later. Okay, why are you in the alleyway? I'm uh, no, I'm honestly curious. <gasps> the corkscrew game was just here. Oh, okay. Now I know they were looking for me. Uh, sure, whatever makes you happy. Where would Air have gone? Went to one of the buildings. Uh, no, he's not in here. Uh, maybe this one? Uh, absolutely nothing, but there's a phone here. The lion's dead. Oh boy. It's like someone's house. You open up the cabinet. There's a large paper bag inside. Yeah, take it with you. Nice. Hi. What are you doing in my, here in my house? Oh, this is definitely a house. Get out! Rude. Hello, Mr. Police Officer Robot Man. Closing roads is all a part of being a police bot. We are going for the world record. World record of barricading roads off. It's like in every member of the force, but we're almost there. Oh boy. That's a really creative way to, you know, <laughs> to block off things, though. <laughs> Wait, also, this just came to mind. Oh, there's air. But, hold on, I want to go back to this. It, to me, every single time I play this game, it just looks like <laughs> the, the, the robot's feet just look like, well, it's like the wheels of a chair. chair, Like, you know, a push chair. That's just what it looks like, their feet. <laughs> well, air went in here. The gate is locked. Uh, Gearworks factory. Do not enter. Hmm. So when you find, like... Oh, no, wrong thing. The coins land on heads and tails. So when you find, like, a key or something to get through that gate, then... What does the police know anything? Show your photo. Well, oh, yes, that is a nice photo. I fail to see what it has to do with breaking the world record. That's all you care about. That's all you care about. May like it's a factory, so maybe it's this these people have keys to the place? Maybe? I doubt it. There's a note on the desk. I tried using the phone in the bar the other day. Before I can even dial a number, some random guy on the phone yelled at me to get off the line. How rude! It's that guy on the phone, I can only imagine. Oh man, I'm in trouble. It's my first day in the job, and I'm stuck here all by myself. This is a sort of engine in the back. Heck, if I know how to do that, I won't reach the dang thing. The boss can't come in today to help me since he's stuck behind some kind of road closing. <laughs> Please spare me. I'm pretty much screwed. Hmm, just the straight to keep up, get open. Uh... Oh, there's a box. Okay, we need to steal the contents inside. I'm sorry, sir, but this is doing business. There's a pile of scrap metal inside the box. I said take some with you. It could come in handy. You never know when some metal can come in handy. What is this? It's an important looking, it's an important looking machine with a big lever. The slopper and certain materials are process. We put that scrap metal in. You try pulling the lever. Uh, that sucks. Looks like the lever is less tight. Oh. Uh, we put the oil in. You apply the oil to the rusty parts of the, the lever. Ah, there we go. You should be able to operate the machine now. And I think we put the scrap metal in. We put the scrap, the metal scraps into the slot machine. And I think we pull a lever, whatever this makes. The slot for inserting materials is a process. You pull hard on the handle of the sliding machine. You hear a loud clunk, and a piece of metal pops out of the machine. You get a gear! Uh, oh, that goes to this. I didn't see that. What does this note say? There's a note on the desk. Hey, new guy, fix the machine. It's not working. I'm so sorry for you, sir. Uh, so I think this opens that door, so... We can just pull this. Yeah. We open the door for you. It's our first day job, I'm just like here by myself. I'm supposed to start the engine. Oh, okay, you want you want help with the engine. Ah, uh, okay then. What's this? It's like a... There's a screwdriver at the desk. You put it in your pocket. We're just picking up things left and right, sir. It's a note on the desk. The city really is growing, huh? We're always doing these expansion projects. Well, I can only imagine if, like, you're being underground. Like, how long has the city been going? Probably been, like, a long time. There's a note on the desk. I 
can't believe they go back to using the old facilities. After the factory was built, we weren't supposed to be re returning here. Now that we have a choice, I guess. To the incident at the factory, there's no way that we can work there. It's way too dangerous now. Hmm. Let's see this is the generator. Rotational Energy Converter, or REC for short. Use our priming main engine. It requires one individual capable of moving left or right to operate. Wait, I can move left and right? Also up and down, so uh, I don't know if I can do that then. That's like a treadmill, so. Get the meter up. And the engine started. Well, at least for this building, anyway. Oh, wow, you got the engine running. Thanks, man. Uh, here's something for your troubles. You got a coin. Uh, we got. We can buy that bucket in spring now. Uh, we could. Let's head back there to that thing. Oh, yeah, you're up there. You moved here now. Hello. Hey, guy, what can I do you for? You want to get into the abandoned factory? Why would you do that? Uh, we're looking for a guy, or else we're stuck here in these, this um, uh, universal parallel world lingo lingo purgatory thing. So, yeah, we need to talk to him. <laughs> Everyone knows that the corks are getting secret hideout. Oh, a bot would be mad to go there. Then again, now that I look at you, I can tell you're not even a bot. Human, eh? Oh gosh, our cover was blown. Ah, come on, don't look so concerned. I got no problems with humans. Heck, sometimes it means sitting up to the surface to interact with you folk. Is so we have to back up to the surface? Well, I actually think there, there would be because it's, <laughs> I thought they'd block it off or something like that. I can get away with it because I'm go so good at looking like a human. Yeah, you definitely look <laughs> good. Can you tell? Yes. His name's Clove, by the way. Oh, hi, Clove. And I can only guess why on earth a human would want something to do with that weepy guy. But since you seem so getting on into the factory, it only seems right to give you a hand. I'm pretty great at getting in and out places, you know? <laughs> oh, so you just... <laughs> you sneak around the entrance and exit to the surface and underground. And I think there's a way to get you past that lock gate. I'll need a spring, a screwdriver, and some wooden planks. Well, we got a screwdriver and the spring is in the shop, so... I... Yeah, I remember the, the wooden... Pl I need to remember where the wooden planks were again. I mean, those things, and we'll get you in the factory in no time. What does this statue say? The statue's gonna take you to the stone mason who made the other statues. <laughs> he just didn't get his own statue like the other guys. Well, I mean, obviously, if, if he has to make so many statues with other people, why not make one of himself? Credit where credit's due. I guess he really likes his chickens then, huh? <laughs> so, I was, so I know how exactly how to get the stuff in the shop. We just combined uh, the box cutter with the paper bag. You get out some eye holes with the paper bag and plus some other details. You got a disguise! Like the other guy in the bar. Oh, gosh dang it. You put the paper bag you put on the paper bag disguise. Now we look definitely like a robot. Welcome, customer! And it works. <laughs> so we have we have two coins, so we can buy these. You hook the coin. The coin lands on heads. Oh, we have to click on them. We can we'll buy the metal spring and then the metal bucket. Oh no, we're probably gonna get we're I think we get, we get money from catching that mouse the the bucket. So uh, we can get probably get the spanner the boots later, but the spanner is obviously more useful than boots. Let's find some marsh down here, which you know they'll still be useless actually. Uh, so we'll get, go get that mouse. And the way to do that is just to loop all the way around like I did the first time. And then catch it with the bucket. You caught the mouse, the mouse in the bucket. You know a bucket with a mouse in it. Nice. I think we just give we just give this to the guy outside. Oh, you cut the mouse, huh? Uh, here, let, me, let me take that from you. He takes the mouse from your pocket. Oh wait, yeah, he gives the one plank from us, I forgot. You know about empty bucket again. I should probably give you something for catching the mouse. I got these wooden planks, I guess. You don't know why I have them. I'm just offloading some <laughs> scrap into us. Like, there's an air phone here. Hmm. Well, for, for a person who's saying, like, there's, it's too much trouble to have phones over the place, there's a lot of phones over this place. 
Uh, do we have we have the spring, a screwdriver, and boards? Yeah, I think we have everything. Wait, <laughs> I like <laughs> the thing. The design changed. Oh, that's great. So we go back to talk to Clove and make a springboard out of it. All right, looks like you found all the stuff we need. Uh, let me just take those things from you. Clove takes the spring, screwdriver, and wooden planks from inventory. You go on ahead to the factory. I'll meet you at the entrance. Can do. I, yeah, I think we actually looked at everything, of, like, got everything or we can get item-wise around here. Uh, by their police officer, man, he's been barricading places off, okay. Okay, you got here way too fast. Hey, hey, here's the man of the hour. Let's go get you into the factory already. Truth be told, I was surprised to hear that you were having trouble getting past the gate. Usually most people just hop over the fence. The gate isn't that high. I assume you're terrible jumping? Maybe it's just a human thing. Yeah, jumping is a, is a bad human thing. Whatever the reason, I gotta get covered. Check it out! Using all these things you got me, I built you a launch pad. It's simple to use too, just step on up. You'll be over the fence in no time. Over we go. Come out and fill out your inventory. As long as the paper bag. Oh, looks like you lost some junk during the, the launch. And don't worry, your old pal will take care of the stuff for you. And nothing you lost looks that important, so I'll just probably just trash it. And how dare you get rid of the stuff I so preciously collected. But maybe I'll stick around somewhere else. I'd rather not be found hanging around here if I can avoid it. I definitely do not want to be caught by the corkscrew gang. I have a strong aversion to getting the treatment, if you get my meaning. Well, what's the treatment then? Well, obviously I know, but I'm gonna say it. I should like how it's handled. Anyways, gotta run, guy. Good luck with your stuff. Yeah, we're back to the inventory we had at the very start. Lost everything else. Well, we don't have a coin anymore, so sad. And here we're in the factory. Ah, gosh dang it. I really love the music of this place. There's a note on the desk. Until further notice, we will be closing the Gearworks factory. A recent incident has led us to believe that the factory is no longer a safe work environment. We will receive your new work assignments in one to two to business days. Be sure to collect any belongings in the factory before we lock the gate. And obviously some people left things behind, like this belt. There's a little belt hanging off the peg wall. He said to take it with you. Around a bit more. Locked door. More notes. There's none on the desk. Hey, so tomorrow's my manu is my manufacturing date. It's his birthday. Do you think the employees are gonna throw a party for me? I'd really like that. With confetti and all. A giant big confetti popper. <laughs> Make you feel like it like being blown back with a cannon. It's a map of the factory. Looks like the factory is fairly large. Since here they were adding a new wing to the building. Hmm. Hey you, gray dude! Oh hi. Oh yeah, I think I remember you from the, the photo. Well, you're the background of the photo. You're definitely not a corkscrew gang. Maybe you can give me some info. Have you seen a long, tall robot in the, the factory wearing a striped scarf? Uh, that's Ayert, yeah. I kinda figured that was the case. But now he's probably been kidnapped by the corkscrew gang. <laughs> I just like how our character just completely black and white everyone else just <laughs> in complete color. It's great. <laughs> I'm guessing they tricked him to going into the abandoned factory so they could easily snatch him without anyone around. Oh. Hmm. You seem reliable enough. Can I get your help with, any with something? I gotta rescue my boyfriend. I don't know what the gang's deal is with him, but there's no way I'm gonna let them get away with this. Sorry, I gotta carry away for a minute. I should probably introduce myself. I'm Poppy. Poppy and Ayert. <laughs> Let's start by finding out where they're keeping Ayert. I was thinking we could slow to locate him. Uh, you go through the left door, and I'll take the right door. I was literally about to go into that one. Sound good? Okay, let's meet back in a little bit. Uh, thanks, dude. Uh, okay, bye. This locks it behind him. Behind her. And the factory's all closed down, so we're sneaking the power on. In the generator room. Oh, where else? There's another crate. Hey, when we're done shutting off boat engines, do you want to head out to the bar? Hmm. Yeah, another phone. <laughs> sure, you're like putting your stuff everywhere. There's a note on the table. The view up here is pretty nice, right? Huge improvement over where we were working before. And the place closed down. 
There's a window that overlooks a large factory floor. All the windows are large to the controls. You're not sure what these switches and dials do, but one switch grabbed your attention. It's labeled auxiliary power. Turn the switch, and it turns to the power. Well, the backup power anyway. If we want to get m the rest of the factory up and going, get these two generators going. So we need like a second person to help with the other one. I did not mean to go back in that door. Okay, I, <laughs> doors like me. So we have a belt. I know what that goes to. We need to get a. Uh... It's a metal grate. This thing's shining in the bottom, just out of reach. And we have treadmills. And up here is the next one of the next objectives. The set of controls. There's a variety of dials and levers. The far end of the panel, there's a keyhole. Tracking some switches? Yes. Nothing happens. Yeah, we need a key for that one. And we got a hook. We found a metal hook in the desk. And we'll just combine that quickly with a belt. And actually, let's go back and get that thing that was in the grate real quickly. Maybe it's the key. I forget what it was exactly. You look at... You hold over the belt down to the grate and try to hook the item at the bottom. You got it! You should be key from the grate. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, there was a key then. Does this go to this thing or not? You can insert the key into the keyhole and turn it. The light in the panel is now lit. Hopefully this is a good thing. It's probably alright. It's not gonna be a self-destruct button this far into the, the factory. Definitely not. And we'll hit this switch. This thing's clogging it. Okay. This thing will wedge into that metal gear. That's all locked. Can we open this up? Looks like there's a gear in it. Unlike the other ones, we're missing one. You try to turn the crank, but it won't budge. It doesn't seem like it's rusted, so we don't. Yeah, we don't need to use oil. There's no in the desk. These doors are such a pain to open. They're so heavy that we need all the factory engines running just to get the, the doors to move. Who's the wise guy who thought that making these doors was a good idea? The best kind of ideas. Don't know why this phone, this, the, the man on the phone actually wants the, wants Ayrd of all people. Yeah, obviously I do know. But just gonna throw like hypotheticals out there. There's a note in the crate. This room is so confusing, I hate it. <sighs> Me, you too, buddy. Another phone. And the whole thing is this, is we go through the treadmills and flips and switch some levers. Like this one. We gotta find some more around the room. There's another on the table. Does anyone know why we keep leaving these notes lying around for others to read? Nope, sir, and I do absolutely do not. <laughs> and we go down here, to the left, then down, down, and it goes to that one. So that door. The switch is over there, but let me try the other switch real quickly. It goes this way, up, and left, and there's that switch. Then we go all the way to get that door, and get this switch right here. And there it goes, it opens to the ladder. It leads to the rest of the room. Yeah, down here. Some kind of crank and lever system. And then crank, and it opens another area which we couldn't get to before. There we go, this door that was closed before. We go down these roads, and then the note. Tell me you hear it, right? Most of the time it gets drowned by the sound of the machines. But if you listen closely, sometimes you can just make it out. The faint sound is something dropping continuously. Something about that sound really worries me. And what's in this... what's wedged in the, in the gears? It's a crowbar. The new gear should be able to move freely. And we'll just go... go all the way back... ...to use that power and make something in the machine. It's a factory for some reason. It's, it's a factory for a reason. Yeah, that comes out from here. Let's go down there and turn the switches to this. And hit the switch. This 
scrap metal goes into the machine, gets processed. Then out comes this doohickey. And we grab this. So this is what the machine, the big machine built. It looks like some kind of motor that you can wind up. Hmm. So it's basically a uh, we need to find. I think we need to find another box to get another item to combine it with. I just remember exactly where it was though. Oh yeah, I forgot this door's open now. We actually do need to get the crowbar for this. Use the crowbar to break into the panel. Ah, one of the circuit breakers is tripped. Reset the breaker. Let me fix one of the devices in this room. So that turns on this machine. And flip that over. Then we turn this on to open that door. And then we use the treadmill to go over there. If we didn't, that would obviously be not a lot of time to do that. Some kind of crick gear and crick because of it. And this would open this door. You don't have to worry about the treadmill ever again. And there's some wheels in here in the counter. It could possibly be useful, so you take them with you. And let's go all the way back slowly, slowly getting some exercise in. All the way back up to the two generators. Well, the auxiliary power. And turn those two hamster wheels. And we combine this together, make an RC car. Well, wine car. Where would there be a good place to let this little guy run? We'll put this, put it here. Place the wind up cars on the wheel. And we'll just wind up the motor and have it run. And we'll spin it as it goes. And now the whole factory is now in full capacity of power. You've done your job well, Mr. RC Car. And we can open that gear crank at the very end of this room over here. We'll open this, and it goes into the where we see more treadmills. There they are. Hi, Eric. Oh, I see Poppy up there. You think this will hold? Oh, yeah, this will, this will hold, boss. It's the biggest thing we've got that they can tie the guy to. Beep. What are you gonna do to me? Ah, shut up. Just be a good bait and stay quiet. Speaking of which, we gotta keep a lookout now, boys. With our luck, Poppy's already in the factory. Eh, I don't know about this, boss. The factory's a big place. Who knows where she could be? Beep. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Cork. Maybe we can ask that guy if he's seen anything. What's he doing? Get him! <laughs> uh, okay, we gotta tie him up. N now what? Does this guy look familiar? Beep. Yeah, that's right, Corky. He was in the park when we were messing with Weepy here. Hey! Enough! Well, it matters that he doesn't belong here. And we all know what we do about loose ends. The treatment. <laughs> Not the treatment! This will keep him quiet. Nice meeting you, Mac. Just wet. <laughs> uh, is that it? Um, uh, boss? <laughs> I don't know. You should get the water works. I never really considered what to do if it didn't. Who would hurt someone being immune to water? Huh, this is new to bees, boss. I mean, there's always humans, but you don't think. Beep. What's a human doing here? I don't know. They're, they're supposed to be able to get down here, right? Beep. Okay. Okay, look. We don't have time to deal with this right now. Uh, let's just uh, throw him in a closet or something. We can figure out what a human's weakness is later, all right? Cork, knock him out, won't you? Beep. Okay, out we go. Like a light. Okay, throw him in there. Beep. Look, he's just going to be tied up in this locked closet. He ain't going anywhere. I guess our, big, our uh, human's biggest weakness, weakness is us, is I'm uh, being stabbed, electrocuted, poisoned, basically anything can harm a robot. Well, 
Plus also, yeah. You turn up and can't move. And we open, we uncut the ropes for the box cutter. Now we can move freely again. The door is locked. Oh my god, you're in here. Oh, there you are. You the box, the box cutter. What? <laughs> Yo, kid! Long time no talk! Yeah, no talk indeed. I see you find yourself in a mighty fine pickle. Or cucumbers. Kidnappings, rebel gangs, and abandoned factories? What a mess. Let me tell you what, since you're screwing up so badly, I'll give you some help. Oh, wow, thanks. Try pushing one of those shelving units. You might find something useful. Good luck, and hopefully see you on the other side. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna push one of those shelving units. That one's pushed. And ladder. Down. Into the outskirts of the back doors. The lamp. Turn it on. It's the next set of puzzles of the lamps. I have a big idea of exactly what the, f the phone, like the man the phone acts like once. Well, technically I don't know what what his real job is for like what we want to do, but I have an idea why he wants us to do something here, but I can only explain that by the end of the game. Like why he wants us to do this job. It's a test. It's a lamp. And we go in the center and that turns the red on. Since these are brown or red lamps that like, you know, turn it on. The whole increasing series of lamp puzzles. We'll turn this one on. I'll speed through this. It's Lamp City Galore. Thing that opens that up. There we go. And then go to the next door. Hey, hey, welcome back. Didn't get lost on the way here? Good! There's more important matters at hand. I take you notice the main feature of this room? It's water. It's eerily quiet, except for the occasional water drop. You're probably wondering, is this all water? That would be a correct assessment, it is. There is in fact a large body of water in the middle of this town of aquaphobes. It's a funny story, actually. The boss thought they were drinking out a few a new factory wing, but in reality they were just opening a road to an underground underground pool. No wonder why they so quickly abandoned this dump. But enough of that. There's a reason why I had I had you to take that passage here. So grab, go grab your bucket and fill her up. The way things are going, you're gonna want to be carrying a bit of water around. Trust me, you'll know when to use it. Once you fill out your bucket, get going and find that bot. Hope you haven't forgotten you're still in the clock. Go on and get out of there. Can do, sir. I need to get Ayrd out of the way. Well, out of the way. This is not gangster territory. We need to help him out. There are a pile of notes at the desk. You can tell that the progress of the new factory wing being constructed. We skimmed through the notes, reading about the, statu the status of digging, into the info on the machines being installed, etc. In reaching into the notes, we find that they end abruptly. Yeah, no wonder everyone, like, immediately just abandoned this place. That's probably why, the, like, the, the like, guy we helped the, the workshop place actually, like, need help. Like, this is just newly abandoned. Oh, hey! Oh, hey, Grey Dude, you're okay! I didn't think I'd see CD again after the corks were getting caught, you. Looks like you got away way okay, though. I don't know if you saw, but I was watching the whole scene from the scaffolding. I found a way to get into that room through a rear entrance. So, you're actually human? Don't tell anybody, please! I might have overheard that part. Not that I have any issue with it. Anyways, when they help me with my problems, it's okay in my book. Same. Anyways, did you see how they had air tied up in the back? Like, to a giant gear spoke. Well, here's what I was thinking. I could act as a distraction while you enter the room from the rear entrance. Open that door we went and launch yourself in. Okay. Well, the gang isn't looking. Rescue Ayer and get him out of there. Once I see that he's safe, I can escape myself. Hey, don't look at me like that. I can probably take care of myself. If you can escape from the corkscrew gang, then so can I. Don't worry about it. You'll find your way to the rear entrance if you go through the door I took earlier. Hmm. A whole new set of puzzles. I'll take the road that you took last time. Uh, don't worry, we got this. Ayers is good as saved. I just like how I'm uh, 
we had to do the most puzzles to get around and she had to take the, the easiest route actually just when we go down here like look over here literally the only thing we have to do is just go through this grate well she sealed it again apparently we need larger bolts we need some kind of wrench to get the bolts off so we actually need to go back to the shop and get that although we're passed by a gate and next thing to do is get this vending machine Vending machine. There's some small object cell items stuck behind the glass. You shake the machine enough, you might be able to make it fall down to the slot. Shake the machine? Yeah. Time stretch it a little. Okay, it's gonna be a long, long, tired. Just push the vending machine. Which another inch. Oh boy, this is just like high school over again. <laughs> the item didn't move at all. Oh no. You could have sworn you saw it move a little this time. No dice isn't moving. Okay, screw this. You smash the glass with the crowbar. You get a roll of wire from the vending machine. <laughs> There's a large coin on the couch. Put that in your pocket. There's a note on the table. As great as it is to have these vending machines, they're rarely stocked. I never have what I want. Half the time I just end up going at the front entrance to buy something. I think about writing a complaint. I just loot the vending machines more than the left. We can't have any snacks or drinks out. Well, probably not drinks, just... What do robots eat? <laughs> Besides, like, well, obviously oil, but what do they eat exactly? <laughs> hey, Clove. Hey, guys, so maybe I felt guilty about leaving you to explore the factory alone and get caught and almost get killed and tortured by a gang? Yeah, I can already imagine. But not guilty enough to actually go inside the factory because I'm too scared. So I may have been sitting out here for the past few minutes. Anyways, it looks like you're okay, so that's good. Uh, are you gonna leave now? <laughs> Let me know if I can help you with anything. I don't really have anything else going on. Well, since we can't leave, we'll give you this coin to buy so get that spanner into the shop. Oh, do you mean go buy something? I can run down to the store and see what I can get. I'll be right back. Okay, here you go. You, you got a pair of boots. I totally hope you're trying to update your look. These boots will help will look great on you. No need to thank me. I want a refund. This isn't what you wanted, is it? Alright, alright, give me a redo. Oh, let me run back to the shop again. Here you go. I'm pretty sure I got it right this time. Yes, you did. Is this what you wanted? Nice. And now I feel a bit better about leaving you to navigate the factory all by your lonesome. Thanks. I'll be doing this on my own more dangerously. I'll just stay out of here while you go back in and handle whatever you had to do still. Good luck with your stuff, guy. Thanks. I'll just go back into the dangerous the, the dangerous area that's the factory that's been abandoned and let the rot. Now we'll open this up. Use the wrench to remove the bolts in the grate. The wrench breaks so you take off the last bolt. Man, this thing should be made. Gosh dang it, that guy w it was cheap. When the bolt's gone, the grate comes up pretty easily. The wrench is now accessible. Nice. It's the exact same rope Poppy take to get to the scaffolding above. Poppy is ready down there for the distraction, so let's do this. Good, we're all set. The main entrance is opened up. There's only one way to get into this room. Are you sure about that? But we g and we got Weepy all tied up. Hey, I'm not Weepy! <laughs> so now what do we do, boss? You wait for Poppy to show up. <laughs> Beep. Some wise words, my friend. Get a deck of cards, boys. This could take a while. Yo. We're all to show up. <laughs> well, well, look who's here. Yeah, it's me. I know you have Ayrt. Eh, what are you talking about? Our buddy Ayrt here came on his own to hang out with us. Poppy, they tricked me to coming here. They tied me up. Help me. Okay, so I lied. Look, why even bother with a schmuck? So I'll use your boyfriend for now, sure, but I don't know if you, you considered your options. My options? You could be dating someone who doesn't start crying at drop of a hat. Someone who clearly has his act together. Someone like me. Good luck with that, buddy. Wow, I don't know what to say. I'd be lying if I didn't say you're quite the catch. Really? Totally. I mean, you stand so tall as a leader of the great corkscrew gang. I am tall, aren't I? <laughs> uh, he's simple. 
He's just a strong leader. Okay, let's go. Okay, we open one of these panels. I think it's this one. Succeeded. Nothing that looks inside this machine. Okay, not that one. Where's the one with the wires? Okay, it was this one, actually. Bunch of loose wires. Uh, we'll combine this with there. A nearby LED that lights up. It goes in this machine, it looks like. So it's gonna crank and gear mechanism. Turn the crank. And we'll get him down. Who are you? Please don't tell me. I don't like being upside down. None of us do. That spins us around. We'll spin it again. And this is the same method we got the crowbar from. Jam that in. And we'll get you down. You have fun, dude. I think we'll cut you down. Get the bindings and aired. Oh wow, thanks! Uh, so, why are you helping me? Poppy's distracting everyone? Yes, she sure is. Oh gosh, it's a relief that she doesn't actually like that guy, but do you think she'll be safe? I'm pretty sure she can't know herself. I guess we should just hurry out of here then. We aren't helping her much by sticking around. Okay, see ya. Okay, never mind. What? Oh, my shoelaces are untied. I should probably tie them. Uh, come on, buddy. Psst, hey, Cork. Beep. The gear's all gone rotten. I can't fix it. Am I going upstairs and checking up on Weepy? Beep. Okay, he's coming. Okay, one loop over the other. Hang on, I'll be done with the shoelaces in a minute. Okay, gosh dang it. Taking too much time. Uh, the controls. I'll quickly take this. Well, and we'll switch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was strange. We should really keep moving now. Okay, onwards. Okay, let's get you out of here. I think we'll just take you back to the park for now. I hope she's alright. And, um, uh, uh, B bots with one eye have always been kind of attracted to me, I guess? Yeah. Anyways, you're probably waiting for my answer, right? What do you say, Poppy? You and me going steady? Of course not, you moron! Why would I date some jerk or hurt my friends? What? Jeez, Ribbit, what were you thinking that I would just swoon at some gratuitous show of power? But, but Poppy... That's a poplin to you, Ribbit. Well, I have half a mind to go and kick your... Oh, no. Okay, and he's going off crazy. Poppy! Hey, what are you doing here? You're supposed to escape! Well, I was, but I'm not gonna let you get blown to bits. What are you hoping to accomplish, you dumb goof? I don't know yet. I'll think of something. Boss! Screw, what the heck is going on? I don't know, boss. There's something wrong with that machine. Of course I know that. I can, I can tell there's something going on with the machine. But we, we both know you were best at working with the machine, so fix it. Uh, uh okay? My turn to shine now. Oh, that's working. It's working this way now? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm trying to turn crazy. And we'll just splash. Everything's all well and good in here. Okay. I guess that's resolved now, isn't it? Should we just get out of here then? Yeah, sure. Just one second. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Pulverize him. What are you doing? Did you forget I want to give you peace of my mind? Huh? Uh, I still need to teach you guys a lesson for all the trouble you've been causing. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's great. Oh, well, I guess that worked out. I still can't believe the police showed up immediately after probably knocked out River and Screw. That's where I got the policeman legs from. Stupid. It literally just showed it clearly. Ugh. It's stupid. <laughs> Convenient timing, though. 
Yeah, okay, it was a little weird. Not a bad thing though. We probably wouldn't have you probably wouldn't have been able to pull cork out of machine otherwise. So still though, back when I thought you were kidnapped, the police are completely oblivious to anything going on. All they cared about was some sort of world record. And after all the stuff that's happened in the factory, you're starting acting like oh police again. I don't know, Air. Maybe it was a really important world record. No, it wasn't. If there's anything weird going on, it's what was happening with Ribbit. I kind of knew him before all this corkscrew gang stuff went down, and he was never that much of a jerk. Hmm. I didn't even know he knew the corks, the corkscrew boys before all this. I don't know what happened with him, but I hope he gets to act together someday. You don't really have any feelings for that guy, do you? Of course not, you big doofus. I'm not the, I'm, I'm not the, I got the guy I care about the most right here. No. I don't know anyone else who would risk life and Linda rescue me, despite the odds. Oh, Poppy. And thanks again for all your help with the whole kidnapping thing. Things probably would not have played out as well as if it were just me trying to rescue Aird. Yes, thank you so much for everything. Oh, hey, it's you. Uh, I guess you're the monochrome kid looking for? Yes, that's me. Don't worry about what's going on in the background. Someone just having a seat here at the door now. You, uh, have a call. We're good here, buddy. You can go now. Uh, right then. You certainly have some powers to be over here. Uh, sorry about the delivery service. You know it is. Huge pain to keep phones everywhere. But hey, look at you, the big damn hero. But you're feeling pretty good about yourself. That being said, did you forget that you still have a job to do? I'm sure you found Weepy and just happened to help with some gang problems. I thought you wanted us to find Aerith. But did you forget the second part of my instructions? If I remember correctly, it was, some, it was something along the lines of that bot leading you where to go next. You do remember seeing that machine, right? The one that almost killed you? The one I splashed water on? Yeah. Yeah, that one. You're not done with it yet. Get back into that factory. I'll get further instructions once you get there. Don't dawdle now. And I guess that's where we part ways. Uh, so Poppy tells me you're actually human? Oh my god, she's already feeling all our secrets. I don't see what the fuss is about with humans, but they seem like a pretty okay people to me. Or I am, at least. If you ever need a favor, be sure to hit me up. I definitely owe you one for all you've done. Can do. See you later. We'll go off and get this fiddle around with the machine that that guy wanted. I ain't getting rid of the barricades. Keeping the peace is all part of, of, of being a police spot. When we heard about kidnapping, you rushed in to make all the necessary arrests. But we ha we're having the perpetrator do community service by moving all these road barriers. <laughs> the world record. How many. How many what would the world record for, for road barriers? Like. several hundred thousand? <laughs> oh boy. And for some reason, we have, we have these set up all over the city. But even you don't even know why you're set the barriers? Hmm. We really do have a lot of bro bears that need moving. Hey, hurry up! We have loads more berries to move today. Yeah, yeah, we hear you, buddy. Psst, hey, Cork. I bet this will go much faster if we just borrowed one of the cards on Assembly Street. Beep. Oh, don't worry, nothing can go wrong. Same goes for you, Mac. Get moving with those barriers. I can't even lift one. I'm not strong enough. Heh. <laughs> oh, that's great. And those people, are, those two, never changed. You better not change, big buddy. Keep weeping and booping your way out. And the gate's open. I could go through that, but... That's way more satisfying. It's something we'll never get that, that, that hat back. That disguise. Also a coin. We can't, now, we can't flip it now. That's even more sadder. Uh, the quickest way to get there is actually through here. We'll see the thing that actually got me intrigued about the one thing that's intrigued me so much about this game. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. We'll, we're coming down. I wonder how damaged this place has gone. And there's the wheelie turned. I don't know what I can do now. Oh yes! Oh, the crowbar snapped. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, can't take you forever to get here. I'll try my best. I have to say goodbyes, you know. Let's get started already. 
So that big scary machine that almost killed you? Yes. Check that right panel and see what you find. It should totally be fine. Trust me. I think. Uh, okay. This panel looks loose. It comes up pretty easily. You find something into the machine. You got you get a thing. What the heck is this thing? This is one th like weird some buns here, a lever, or whatever. I don't even know exactly what it is, but hmm, what the heck is this thing? Okay, good, you found it. That's it for here. We're leaving. If you look to your left, you'll see the exit. Hurry up and let's go. To the left. He has reappeared. He has appeared. <laughs> Oh boy. He must have some big powers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. One more thing to do. Just toss the device into the box behind you. I see it. That's all there is left before we get out of here. You still have no idea what this thing is. What do you even do with this thing? I have an idea. Let's put in the mailbox first. You put the thing in the mailbox. Funny little thing, that device. I don't know how our one-eyed friend came across it, but he was almost certainly using the stirrups of trouble in town. It would explain why he got so well known overnight. It also explains why people care less about him now, ever since the console blew up. Now just some harmless chump. Well, that's neither here nor there at this point. What's important now is that the device is in better hands now. My hands, that is. I mean, it's gone. In the elevator. Alright, here's your ride. We're done this neck of the woods. Good work with the job, by the way. It's good to know that you can actually be useful when time calls for it. After all, I got more, I got loads more for you to do. So let's get going. So actually, I just just, like, this is actually the end of the game to the elevator. What was that? The thing I can only imagine to actually like control for like the worlds. Like that's why like and that and like Rivet actually used it to like get rid of like up his up reputation to be part of the Corkscrew gang. He did all that just to, like get on Poppy's side. Good side. So there's like items in each different world which actually like helps manipulate like, you know, people's personalities, like, the police, for example, like, we're doing a whole world record thing with the barriers, and then they just stopped, and just, like, the very second the machine, like, like, you know, was destroyed, the thing that this, that thing was inside the machine of was in, the police came, so the thing was destroyed, and then it's the, ne the, the next door. That's out right now, but that's that right now, but wait, I don't think I've seen this before. How have I not seen this before? Someone's following us. Is that the guy on the phone who's following us to make sure we're doing all good? I could totally buy that like that guy in the robot, like the fake robot disguise, being him actually, just pretending. I can totally buy that if he's like following us, some like he's watching us somehow. Ooh. It's been like four years since the, when this game came out, and then third, and now the third game came out today. So I'm actually excited to see how that goes. So, I hope you're having a fun time watching as I am playing this. I'll help you see, see you in the next door, following on the to a train, and I'll help you have a fantastic day.